Hi guys, this is a video about how to submit the application form to receive the German F22 form you need to upload in your marketplaces on Amazon, eBay and other marketplaces. If you don't know what the F22 form is all about, um, I've made another video about this topic, just click on the link and um, you can see what this form is all about, why you need it and who needs it, okay? To everyone who needs this, uh, this form, who knows about that it's required, um, we're gonna fill the form together and I will show you exactly step by step how to really get that F22 certificate and keep selling to German sellers. So, I'm here on my blog post where I'm gonna show you uh, the steps. So, the first step is that we need to fill the application form, it's called UST1TJ form and the place where you can find the form is here in this link, by clicking on this link. That's the link itself, as you can see it's some German uh, letter about the, um, the form itself, about the law itself, about what you have to do, it's written in German, but we will work it out together. So, first of all, that's the form itself, that's what we're gonna talk about now, that's what we will fill together and we will start right away at the top. Very important, here you have to add who you are, so the person who is the sender of this document, so that will be in my case that's the test company, test company, one, two, three, with my test address, my postal address, postal code, 1234 and test city, okay? Here you will have to add again the postal code, um, so it's 1234, uh, test city, your street name actually and the country, street name and the country you're in. Here you have to add your phone number, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and we will see. Here on the left, you have to add the receiver's address, so the tax authority responsible for your country. Very important that you send the document, this application form, only to the tax authority who is responsible for your country. How to find out this country? Again, if you see here my blog post here, you can find the list of all the tax authorities. However, if you look up your VET certificate, on the top right or top left of your VET certificate, you will see who was issuing that certificate. And that's the same authority you have to send it to. So please add their contact details here and uh, try to figure out their email address because you can send this form by email as well as by post so I would suggest to send it by email directly. Let's move on to the first part of this application form. Here you have to add your company name. Very important, we are talking about your company name the way it is added in your VET certificate. Don't add any brand name or whatsoever in case you are a sole trader and you are um, your VET ID is linked to you as a sole trader, you can just add your first name and surname. So I'm adding here my test company limited whatsoever, okay. I am adding here my contact details which means my street name, my address, postal code and uh, city and country like on the top. Again I'm adding my phone number here um, I might have to add some facts here and my email address, which is not mandatory. And then, next question here, are you VET registered in your home country? Okay, if you're a European seller, VET registered in your home country, you can say, yes, I am VET registered in my home country. If so, you can add here your um, tax authority's name, so tax authority of your region, of your country, or whatsoever, and here you can add your tax ID. Here you can add, and you have to add actually, um, the contact details, name and contact details of your accountant. Here it says clearly if applicable, which means 
you do not need to have an accountant. However, if you have an accountant, that's the place to add his contact details, the one who is dealing with all your VAT matters. In this part, in this lower part, you have to add the contact details of the person receiving the document. This might be the same person, it might be your accountant, however, it can also be a separate person. We will talk about this as you can see here, number one, here on the bottom there says something about who this person can be and we will talk about this later on when it gets to sending the document. Now we are getting to the most important part, the list of all the marketplaces you are selling on in Germany. So here you're basically gonna add the name of these marketplaces, let's say Amazon and here eBay. And here you're gonna add the identification ID. What does that mean? In terms of Amazon, it would be your seller ID, for example, it would be your seller name. Uh, we have had cases where tax authorities got back with the questions more like, can you send us a link or whatsoever. So the more you add here, seller ID, name, link, whatsoever, the better it is, the less questions you will get back. In case of eBay and other marketplaces, there might be other names for it, but at the end, it's just the unique identifier so that every tax authority will figure out what is your account, what is the account, the brand name, whatsoever you're selling under, okay? If they have questions, if they want anything further, they will anyway ask you. If you're selling on more than three marketplaces, you can just tick this button and attach a list in the same style like this one and just uh, list all the marketplaces you're selling to. Here, there is just some free space to add some further information. I wouldn't know what to add further. And most importantly, your signature and even the stamp of your company, as well as again, the city you're currently in and the date you have signed this document. So now we're gonna get to this point I have marked in yellow, the person to receive this document. It's very important that you can send this document by email to the tax authority. You have to attach this application form itself, your VET certificate of Germany, so the German VET certificate itself, as well as, if applicable, this so-called Empfangsbevollmächtigter, which basically means the person, like a letter of authority of the person who is allowed to receive this document. Why is this important? If you're applying for, if you have applied for a German VET number yourself and you don't have a tax advisor in Germany dealing with all those matters, you don't have a German address. If you don't have a German address, you need to ap um, appoint someone who has this German address, who is allowed to receive your official correspondence for exactly this letter and any other letters. Um, the tax authorities are not allowing you um, to send or are not sending these documents to any other country than Germany. So they are only sending it by post, they don't reply by email, they just send it by post to a German address only. So either you're gonna use the address of your accountant, which in most cases they have a German address, or you have to use a service like ours where we are basically providing this address just for the, for the sake of um, receiving this document and you don't even need to be any other customer or we, don't, we are not acting as your accountant in this case if you don't wish so. Um, or you basically have your own address for, of a friend of yours or anyone else that you would then let him sign an additional document that you also have to attach. Let's see how that document looks like. This is an example of how this document could look like, where you're basically, as I said before, giving someone the right to receive this document at a German address, okay? On top, you're gonna put again your contact details, test company, your phone number, whatsoever, your street name, and uh, postal code, and city. Here, you're gonna add again the contact details of the tax authority who should receive this. Um, it's the same one as the one for the application form for F22. Then, here you're gonna add your tax ID, very important. I'm not talking about the VAT ID, I'm talking about the tax ID. As you know, as an Amazon seller, you always get first a tax ID and then you get a VAT ID. So here you would add an ID, it would look something like, you know, something like this. 
And now here, you're basically attaching the contact details of the person who is allowed to receive the document. So let's say you're gonna assign me, which says you're gonna assign Christoph Prokas with my whatsoever street name, address, etc. And in Germany, and you're gonna address me to be allowed to receive exactly this um, document. Um, you can also change this document, there is no st strict structure to that document, you can just say, okay, you're only allowed to receive the F-22 whatsoever. Um, in case you're unsure about this, speak to your tax advisor. Most customers, most people um, are using a tax advisor to get registered in Germany, um, so in most cases you don't even have to fill this, as they normally are already appointed as someone to be receiving that document. So very important, only if you got appointed as a tax, sorry, if you do not have somebody appointed to receive the documents in Germany, then you have to fill this form, attach it again. Again, date and uh, city and your signature. So that's something you would also attach. Let's move back here. And here you just add again the same contact details of that person um, that is allowed to receive this document. So that's it. Now let's take a look at what you will be receiving. So as said, you will be sending all of these documents together, VET certificate, the application form, maybe this additional um, appointing of um, somebody to receive this document. Um, you're going to send these three documents by mail to your tax officer, to your tax office, and they might reply, in most of the cases, they may, might reply with further questions. Um, sometimes they reply in English, sometimes they reply in Germany. A German, you would have to just simply uh, answer their further questions. And at the end of the day, you will receive a document that looks like this. This is what you're looking for. So they will provide this to you and this is the document you would then upload to Amazon. Last but not least, if you receive it as said, how to upload it on Amazon, you would basically get in case of Amazon, you would get into your settings, information about your account, VET ID, here it's written in German, and here you would be able to upload the F22 certificate. If you're are not interested in doing so if you think okay that's too complex if you need any further help just leave a comment in or if you need somebody to receive this document um, just send us a message I'm having a link um, in the description we are providing this service for you it's very straightforward doesn't take that long once it is it is sent to the authorities we just have to wait for it um, so it's pretty straightforward however keep in mind the deadline for non-EU companies is the first of March so really take action soon and for EU companies as well as UK companies you still got some time left but still the sooner you apply for it the better it is. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah have fun filling the forms.